There's uh, like this pixel project, right? Where you've got like, say a million pixels. And the only thing you can do as an individual is draw one pixel. And it grows over time and people come in and people come out. And by weird coincidence, you see emergent pictures being formed. I think it's very powerful that you give people the ability to dream in a world in which dreams are not valued anymore. What Aragon allows is for people to come together from wherever and they can interact together, they can make decisions, they can share in the common enterprise, and then they can all benefit together. We can do that now in a very local context, but really doing that in a global context is somewhat new. We have new technology, we have blockchains, we have the internet, and it's the fusion of all of these technologies combining the ability to connect every human to each other directly that really allows for experimentations in new government structures. If you look at the software world, you have this idea of move fast, break things, and then you end up getting something better. So if we can kind of apply that philosophy to governance, create these systems that we can try out, see which ones work, see which ones don't, improve on them very rapidly. All of a sudden, we're probably going to figure out a whole bunch of different governance structures that are way more effective than anything we've tried in the quote unquote real world. I think there's a lot of great strategies out there that just haven't been tried yet. We can actually try out new governance models without the need of people getting killed because we can try those governance models uh, you know, from the comfort of our sofa. That's the way that we actually organize a revolution to fight with code, is to fight with technology. I see in 10 years that we have playgrounds to evolve these decentralized governance structures. And Argon is one of the best playgrounds. So we are providing the core infrastructure, we are providing uh, the core platform for people to create and for developers to create new stuff and users to organize in ways that we use cannot imagine now because we have organized pretty much the same way for thousands of years. And once it's proven and people see this in the digital realm, you'll have uh, existing institutions either adapt these new methodologies um, or ultimately be replaced. There's now an alternative. This alternative is getting better every day. If centralized governments want to keep power, they'll have to do better. So it's empowerment, it's financial freedom, it's, it's all these things that the internet kind of was, but now we're raising the stakes. It's, it's even higher and it's even more important than it ever was. This is a whole new level of technology. And to see it implemented in governance, in systems of control, and where you can't impose values on other people, this is going to be interesting. Opportunities for experimentation are going to be wild.